find in this week's parsha one of the two places of the Klal of the curses. Parshas Kisavo and previously in Vayikro in Parshas Bechukosa. It's a powerful, powerful, long aliyah. Seemingly, it's a, an important message that the Gemara in Megillah teaches us that we finish the year of the Klalot in the Parsha Kitabo. Tichleh Shana V'Kibulotel. Finish the year of curses. But is this just a nice drasha? The Rambam, in Shorish Gimel, in one of his rules, says that if it's not a mitzvah, the Dorot is not included in his 613. And he says that's why the Brachot and Klalot in Har Grizim and Har Eval are not included. However, the Ramban points out that the Bahag listed these Brachot and Klalot as a mitzvah. And the Ramban says even though it was a one-time occurrence, it has flexibility even for long term. What is this message long term? Explains it Rabbi Rucham Fischl, Harold, who learned from Warsaw, learned from the Nitziv in Velashin. He became famous when he explained the mitzvahs of Sajigo. Rabbi Rucham Fischl explains that these klalot are the basis, the dorot of the mitzvah of Kol Yisrael, Arevim Zelazet. That every one of the Arur and Baruch, referring to the Lomot, the mode of Lame, the Shmur of Asot, is that there are 48 Britot, each one, to be able to say that when I'm learning, when I'm observing, what do I have to do? I have to care about my fellow Jew. Call Yisrael Raven Zelazet. This is why it's a mitzvah. That is no Haig Lindorot. It's not only in mitzvot. However, the mitzvah of Lima Torah, according to the Yireim, is the mode of Lame, the Shmur of Asot. And the idea, and this now we can understand what Rabbeinu Bachai. Rabbeinu Bachai says our mitzvah of Lima Torah is based on Kol Yisrael Arabim Zelazeh. It's not by chance that the Gemara that Ezra made a Takana to be able to read the Klalot before Rosh Hashanah. It's not only, as the Gemara says, to finish the Klalot before the end of the year, but rather to teach us the message, this important message, Lidorot, Mitzvah Lidorot. Holy Israel, a raven zealous, Shabbat Shalom.